How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Miser here with another video about that stop error code that you are receiving on your PC. But of course, I want to get straight to the point because I know you've probably been receiving this nasty PMP fatal error for a while now. This is the kind of error code that can't really be ignored because it could be really something serious wrong with your PC. But of course, I would say about 80% of the time, it's mostly a software or a driver type of issue with your PC. In this very content, I will explain exactly how you can resolve that fatal error code that you've been receiving with your Windows. But first, if you find this content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy PC and tech stuff, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button for more to join the big wonderful fan bam. Let's dig right into it. First off, I gotta say, do you have the new Windows update 21H1? If you did, make sure to see if it still contains those very bugs, especially if you have a Kyocera or a Zebra printer. If this sounds like you, make sure you click the card right above my head because I will tell you how to fix it right there. If you know that's not the issue, let's press on because I will show you exactly what steps you need to take. Okay, fam bam, so we're into the PC right now. And if you're running into this PMP Detective Fatal Error Windows 10 issue and you're in your PC and you're unable to even get to this very screen, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get to that screen but of course you won't be here. I'm gonna show you exactly what you have to do when you start up your PC. So we're gonna restart this PC here. When your PC starts up, you're gonna to have to hit something like F12. Something like this will pop up. You wanna boot it up to the CD-ROM. Typically, if you have your Windows 10 on a USB drive, you wanna make sure that you boot it up in that USB drive. Or if you're using a pre-built PC, or a PC desktop, you may have another key or an F key for it to boot up into that. For HP, you typically hit F10. And for Dell, you can typically hit F2 or F12 and so on, all depending on what kind of model PC that you have. So the very next step you have to do is for other boot devices, you may have USB listed on here if you have your Windows 10 on a USB drive. So let's say CD-ROM is your USB drive and we're, we'll boot that up. And when you go into this Windows setup screen, all you have to do is go into next and then you're gonna go to repair your computer. Next, you're gonna go to troubleshoot. Then you're gonna go into advanced options. When you go into advanced options, you can go into system restore. And from here, you're gonna go into Windows 10 and from here, you could actually restore it. Because this is currently on a virtual box, I don't have any system files stored into here. But typically, you will have files stored into here and you can select the restore point from the last time you remember when your PC was working. So let's go back. Now, let's say if you don't have any restore points, all you have to do is go back into advanced options and you can go into, go back to a previous build. If you go back to a previous build, then it will be able to also restore your PC, or you could just reinstall Windows with your USB drive. Now that's one of the most easiest ways to do it, but of course, I always recommend try to avoid this option, especially if you're trying to save some useful data, because all your data will be mostly deleted. You wanna do a system restore rather than doing a fresh clean install of Windows 10. If you did do Windows 10's latest update, make sure you check out that card above my head. And in order to test if you did have the latest Windows update, the easiest way to tell is if you do have a Kyocera or if you have a Zebra printer, try to unplug the USB ports to all your printers because if it boots up then, and you don't see that fatal error screen because you had that printer plugged in, then that could be the very issue that you have is because it is uh, the Windows update. If you are sure that you don't have the Windows 10 update, you wanna go down here and you wanna check to make sure that you don't have any virus protection programs on here. All right, so let's go to my Windows here. And as you can see, I usually have my malware bytes up. So you wanna make sure that that isn't causing your 
fatal error because sometimes it can capture some very important data from your drivers and it can capture some important information from these drivers that you need in order for your PC to work correctly. Another thing is you want to go down here, we're going to hit Windows X and then you're going to go into Device Manager. And when you go into your device manager, you want to see if you have anything like this. Just like how you see other devices, you have this explanation point. You have to try to figure out exactly what that is. It could be causing your PMP detect a fatal error. And the reason being is because your PC does not recognize what it is. And it's not sure what kind of device is in your PC. So you wanna right click here and you wanna click into properties. When you right click into properties, you could actually go into details and it will tell you and go into your hardware ID. And from here, you can actually look up exactly what kind of driver this is. See, as you can see, it's gonna tell you right here that this hardware ID was specifically for my virtual box. And that's one way of finding out exactly what your device is. You can just Google exactly what your hardware ID is. So you wanna make sure that the driver is up to date and you wanna make sure that you have the correct drivers for your PC. Even though it may come up just like this, and you can you would think that the hardware is bad it's not always the case another thing you have to do is let's go back here we're going to open up so you're going to right click command prompt you're going to click yes when you click yes you're going to type chk ds that's just for check disk so it's going to check your disk on your pc to make sure everything is compliant on it and from the looks of it looks like everything passes everything is good to go there's nothing to worry about here. So the next step that I would proceed to is you could either do a RAM check afterwards to make sure all your RAM is functioning correctly. If you get MemTest, this is one of the great things you can download the trial on your PC and it's completely free. And that's something that I would recommend having for any PC, especially this is good to maintenance your PC because you want to make sure all your RAM is always running correctly. Okay, so we're going to run this image USB. We're going to write image to USB drive. So this is something that you can actually run. Of course, I can make another more content about this. If you don't know how to run a memory test, I will have it in the card right above me. But um, let's just say you did your memory test and everything does pass. So the very next step you have to do is un unplug each USB device. This is kind of a slow process, but unplug each USB device. And if you unplug each USB device, see if you can replicate the issue to where you're getting that PMP detected fatal error. And just say like you run that test and it turns out that it's your webcam that's causing that fatal error, then you know the fact that it's your webcam causing that hardware issue. The very next step is you want to check out your hardware. First, make sure that it hasn't been any new hardware that you got for your PC installed, such as a new piece of RAM that you installed that you really liked because that could be causing that very issue, or it can be a graphics card, or it can even be something such as a CPU cooler or other issues. So, in very rare cases, the hardware could actually be faulty. If you're checking out the RAM, you wanna check out each RAM stick one by one. And if it's the graphics card, you wanna take that out and test it out on a different graphics card and try to replicate the issue on another PC if you possibly can. If you found this content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want to join the big, wonderful fan man, all you have to do is go down and hit that subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates. Make sure you go down and follow my Twitter handle right here as it is on my all my other social media platforms such as TikTok and IG. And guys, what do you think of this update or have you run into any other issues that you have? Make sure you put it down in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.